Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashina and if you haven't yet or you're new to my channel, um, please subscribe because I don't know if you know girl, but um, I bring you affordable wigs that are bomb. Okay, now um, I've been doing this affordable series since I started my channel and that was since November and I've been finding affordable hair. Now, I've created this affordable playlist, so if you want to see more of my other videos, I already have a playlist listed. It's under affordable wigs. You can go check that out. Um, and I have a lot of different hair in there. I'm pretty sure like most of my hair that I've purchased so far has been under $14. I think there's only been two on my channel that are a little bit over a little bit like eighteen nineteen dollars um and they're all beautiful units all of my wigs are under twenty dollars that i've purchased um these are things that i've purchased with my own money and these are based off my own opinion they're not tampered in any way because i am not sponsored by any company and even if i was sponsored by companies i would still give my honest opinion on these units um yeah, and where I purchased this wig from will also be listed in the description box. This wig will be, will be listed in the description box. Um, enough of my rambling, so let's just jump right into this wig. Now, this wig is by Ultra. It's a quick weave. It's a complete cap with deep parting, and the style is Marie, and I have it in the color DR Pink. Now, this is what the stock card looks like. I think the girl on the stock card is beautiful. I like how she's styled and everything. Um, the parting. Now the parting on this unit is pretty good. But I did go in and put, plucked a little bit. Not a lot. And I did put a little bit of powder in the pa uh, parting space to make it look a little bit more realistic. The first time I... Actually, this is my second time filming this video. The first time I filmed this video, I did not like how it looked. I didn't like that the, the, it looked a little bit wiggy. And I wasn't feeling that. Normally I would just plop the wigs on my head and put it up. But I've been trying to like change it up a little bit. I would like you guys to see what how I actually wear the wigs. Because the previous videos of me putting the wigs on, that's not how I wear them. I actually go in and I customize them to look good on my head. Now, um, I, in this video that I've been, when I was trying to pluck the part in, right here had a hump. Because this is not a lace frontal. It did not come with any lace at the front, so right here is a little bit humpy. So I had to pluck all that extra hair out there, and I just put a little powder in the parting space. The powder is not the color that I want it to be, but it's okay. Um, I, I think it's a nice unit. Now, they have a whole lot of different colors in this unit. Um, and they all have really, really good, really, really good. Oh God, brain fart. Um, they all have a really good color, good texture. Now, I've seen a lot of people wearing this style in actual bundle hair, um, where they get that cut bob with a lot of curls in it. I've actually seen a lot of people in my area um, wearing this, get their natural, their norm, their natural hair done like this, and I think it's beautiful. But I have kinky curly hair, and I do not had eat my hair, so I would not be doing this to my actual hair. So I'm buying a wig, and that's just how it goes. Anything that I want that my natural hair can't do, I tend to purchase wigs, and since I can do that, I'm gonna do so. Okay. Um, and I can't afford bundle hair. Well, I could. But um, do I want dinner or do I want bundle hair? I will go with food because I love food. And especially being pregnant, I will go with the food. But I like this hair. Now, this hair does shed. And it sheds even more because I have plucked the part in. Um, it's not horrible shedding. It's, it's synthetic regular shedding. So it's not, it doesn't matter. Um, but it's nice and it's soft and it doesn't get that tangled. Like, I have run my hand through it and I've not had any tangling or anything like that. Um, the unit, the color in it, no, the DR Pink, Dark Root Pink, I think it's a nice transition how they did it. But it's not just like a full pink. Like, if you can see, there is like some blonde streaks within that pink. And I think that's what makes it really, really nice. 
the only thing that bothers me about this unit is that it's actually a middle part now I don't like needle parts because I don't think they look nice on me. My um, best friend over would disagree with me. She loves everything middle part and think it would look good on me. Um, and contrary to everyone's belief, who keeps telling me that every unit I've tried on looks great on me, I don't know. I like it. I will wear it. Um, I think it's great. It's subtle. People would love to I think anyone would love this hair. I think if I wore this hair, my stepmom wouldn't be mad at me or my mom wouldn't be mad at me. It's not a bold, it's bold, but it's not dramatic because it has a dark root and a transition. So it's a great, fun unit. But I don't know if it fits my face that well because I have a rounded face and it's, and it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a great unit and I like it, but I'm also wondering how. I don't feel comfortable, fully comfortable with it. Like, I like it, but I'm not in love. Like, I, I, it's great. However, and I think it's because I'm pregnant, and my face is a little bit more puffy. It's not as defined to rock a middle part. I'm just not comfortable with middle parts. Nothing has to do with the unit. It's just I'm not comfortable with middle parts because I don't think they are all that nice on me. Um... Also, the blonde unit that I've tried before, I liked that unit too, but I'm not comfortable with middle part. I love the hair, love the unit, I will wear the unit, but I'm just, I don't, I'm not overly confident in middle parts. But it, again, it's a nice unit, and it is by Ultra. And um, they have a care, one thing you should know about every synthetic wig, there's a care guide on the back of these units. Sometimes it, they give good instructions, sometimes they do not. Um, I will be doing a video showing how to care for your units. I'm also going to do a video how to make your party look more realistic and how to make the wig on your head look more realistic. Um, and how I care for my units. I'll be doing videos like those because I know a lot of people don't know how to do that. Especially when it comes down to synthetic hair. Um, a lot of people don't just think that you just discard it after a while. But you can always revive back a hair and i think i'm gonna do a video about that like i have a unit that i've had for a long time that i'm gonna revive back now um if you know me if you're oldie but a goodie you know that i purchased this wig from wigtypes.com um and again i'll be linking that down in the description box and um again i love wig types i live in new york shipping is great so that's why i stick to wig types now the care guide on this thing says that detangled hair from end to root before shampooing. Now, that is true. Like, if this hair, if you, because sometimes your hair smell, you should wash your hair. Um, I normally don't add shampoo that much to my hair. I condition them and I deep condition them to get them back soft. I do detangle before I condition them. So that's something I don't really add shampoo that much um, yeah do not rub or twist but gently finger comb your the hair uh, sometimes you need to add um, a paddle brush you need to get a paddle brush and just help with that you can't just use your hand alone that does not get all the tangles out of the unit so I do not agree with that um, lukewarm water I guess you can agree yeah pat dry with a towel or do not rub in a towel I actually don't don't advise Pad. I mean, you can dry a little bit, but I would suggest letting your wigs hair dry. Don't put a blow dryer to it. Um, stretching and damaging the cap. Electric curling or flat iron with temperature. Four. Okay, this 400, and de 400 degree thing that they keep saying. I don't agree putting heat that much, that high of a heat to, to synthetic hair. Because I think they will burn. It's plastic. Are is half plastic so I don't think you should be putting heat to this hair of 400 degrees like no that's just crazy to me um, no 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 um, I'll show you what the hair looks like from different angles and I think that will be it for me afterward high X heat resistant so it, yeah 
it's they still say it's saying that it's for it's safe up to 400 degrees but i really don't agree with that i don't think you should put that much to your you to your hair um this hair is beautiful it's nice i would suggest you purchase it if you're a person who can rock a middle part this would be great for you i don't know if you would like this color but again it's up to you now this is what the hair looks like from the front this is what it looks like from the side And this is what it looks like from the other side. And this is what it looks like from the back. And I may have forgotten to mention, but this wig has combs in it. It has combs in the front, one in the back with an adjustable strap. And... Yeah, as I said before, it doesn't come with a lace pardon, but it's a nice unit. Um, yeah, and I highly suggest you give it a try. Now, that's about all that I have to say about Marie. Um, if you like this video, um, hit the like button. Um, share it with your friends and family. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And come on back. I always bring affordable hair. Um, on my channel I'm going to do makeup reviews and stuff like that too so and again thank you for sticking around to the end of this video and if you have any question you can always leave it in the, in the comment section and if you want to know anything about this unit it will be linked in the description box but then you can always send me leave me a comment we can talk I like to talk and communicate with you guys and until next time my name is Tashina Beauty bye